Hey guys, welcome to the Drawing Room Experts. This is uh, Zabe back with another episode. Um, today's episode is is uh, a um, an indication of uh, of what sometimes a moral dilemma may look like. Um, I find myself in these situations um, so many times where um, when I'm looking at a, a circumstances or uh, circumstances or or a um, uh, a situation for that matter. So if I'm looking at a situation and I understand um, how how should one react or one should um, address um, this looming situation and i always find myself uh okay, they, when there are instances where it's it's hard to um put your finger on 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 a on a particular reaction so it's very it's a it's a dilemma of sorts it's it's difficult because it could go either way right um i don't want to say both sides i i hate that term um so um anyway but but um but that really gets my juices going because I feel like it's my bit, it's my room bought me that to to really study and go and and research and ask people, talk to people, and, and get to and come to a, um, a, some sort of a conclusion which not only satisfies you internally but you it makes you feel uh, a little better about uh, what kind of a person you are because. Um, the way you react to those instances really defines what kind of a person you are and, and which side or which uh, side of the argument where you lean yourself. Um, uh, though I'm, I'm constantly on the search of like exploring uh, what my mind, where my mind goes and, 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 and where, where, like if I have any underlying, uh, privileges or subconscious bias that uh, I may not be aware of, but I mean, putting myself in these uh, moral or ethical dilemmas really, you know, gives me uh, a window of, of how I think and, and, and what kind of a person I am. So I would highly advise uh, that whenever these situations come into your life, uh, make the most of it. Uh, don't run away from it. Don't feel like it's it's, 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 you know, no, it's very important that you have an opinion on, on things. I'm not suggesting that you go and like enforce your opinion on other people, but at least have a mind of your own and, and think about it. Why? Uh, quite exactly. Why? Ask yourself why. Uh, why am I thinking like this? Why am I not thinking like this other person? So um, I thought it would be very, I wanted to do an episode on this uh, for a while, um, but then something happened um, in the news, which I'm pretty sure a lot of you have been, um, you know, following as well. Um, that kind of um, worked well because it kind of gave me another uh, instance where it, it became kind of like a, a dilemma and, and I wanted to, and I, and you know, I wanted to use that exam, that as an example, to explain how, how I got to a, a conclusion where I, uh, which, which makes me feel good about myself, um, uh, or at least makes me a little patient about how I would, uh, or how I should react to so, uh, those uh, instances. So, um, a quick recap of of sorts on that. Um, I'm sure you all know about Muhammad Ali Satpara, um, the you know legendary mountaineer um, um, from Pakistan, who uh, have been recently you know uh, in the news, and um, he was uh, expediting and, and moving on, uh, uh, or moving towards conquering the beast that is. K2 in the winters uh, a few weeks back and um, has been missing missing ever since. Uh, it pains me to uh, admit that uh, we might not, we might have lost him now. Um, and uh, he's been in the news for a while now. There's been a lot of 
uh, talk about not just him but his missions and 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 how he was an unsung hero. Uh, speaking of which, I didn't know about Muhammad Ali, um, but I'm proud that I knew about him before this whole incident happened. So that that makes me feel a little better. That okay, at least I recognized the greatness uh, that was uh, Muhammad Ali. Um, um before him having to really sadly give his life away or or pass away um before uh people like myself realize what kind of a hero he was uh my introduction to him was not that long ago it was a documentary that moru um uh, he's a pakistani youtuber uh, made a few um a few weeks back um a few weeks before this expedition i was supposed to take place in which you know it was a 25 minute documentary it's very very beautifully shot it's beautifully narrated it's it's one of the best works he's done um um for sure i mean one of the top best like top videos i've seen in uh, seen from him and he's made some really good ones so that says a lot so in that video you know it actually aptly uh titled as unsung hero uh, unsung heroes so muru kind of introduces you know his viewers as as his his um, subscribers or his uh followers to the greatness that is mohammed ali uh satpara and 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 how he um you know amassed this this particular trail i think he went on a um a mountain expedition with with the uh, with the great man himself um and that kind of uh, you know introduced me to him and you know there was a story which he narrates in the in the same podcast about himself and you know his experiences and i was just blown away by the 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 sheer heart and courage of this guy and 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 um, how much he's done for the mountain community um and then so when so when this news came about about you know where uh, you know mohammed ali is missing and and uh, you know there's a search operation going on nobody's able to locate or find him that was uh, a little more sad uh, given the fact that i knew almost kind of knew the guy uh, through that documentary so it, it it almost felt as if i knew the person himself as well um so that was my introduction to to uh, the legend that is uh, mohammed ali but um i think the where it really got interesting and and where where it really went from you know mourning or you know feeling uh, sad for this man to really understanding his mission and the the philosophy and the mindset that goes behind it are certain uh, opinions and comments that popped up on the internet um, um following the the sad demise or when he went missing uh there were a few people on the internet um uh, you know and trust me whenever i say people on the internet that should be a good indication okay this whatever i'm going to say is probably not going to be the best thing um that you've heard um in your day but so these guys um as there was a trend and you know a, a hashtag uh going around you know pray for mohammed ali or something like that you know pray for his return and a lot of the celebrities were also tweeting and messaging about him uh some people you know took it upon themselves to really open um open their mouths and uh, almost kind of like in a disrespectful way mentioned that uh um that who told him to do this like it is such a dangerous thing to 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 go to a mountain you know in any weather you know let alone it's the second highest peak in the world which is k2 and in winters so you know th- those are two most dangerous things combined and um so he like people were asking like why why should we be mourning for a guy who kind of like put his own life in in such tremendous danger and he shouldn't be doing that he shouldn't be doing that we shouldn't be in a position where we're mourning for this guy he should have stayed home he should have you know done so many other things other than mountaineering and and this is uh this is interesting so there are a couple of ways to react to that one you get really worked up and you're like fuck you and you know you don't you don't know what you're talking about you have to respect the dead blah 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 which a lot of people did um i 
I kind of like paused and I was like, hmm, this does sound kind of interesting because I wanted to understand what, what that mean, what that means. Because before that, I was pretty much on board with the whole mountaineering, you know, experience and, you know, what it, what it really means to the humanity. Um, but then when this question got asked, like, why are you putting your own life in danger? And um, it, it kind of like, you know, helped me to stop and wonder about this. So um, as, as always, as I do when, when these, uh, these things happen, I go to the internet and I start searching and reading things about like, what is the purpose of mountaineering? Why do mountaineers go to Everest or K2 um, despite knowing the, you know, the, the dangers? Because it's not just Muhammad Ali. It's a host of other mountaineers, thousands, a huge community, not just in Pakistan, but also outside of Pakistan, in Europe, in America, and in, in, uh, in Australia. You know, all of these countries that you consider to be a little more intellectually uh, advanced than, than um, um, you know, the, the Asians or Pakistanis or Indians, right? Um, and... And it's not just, you know, us doing this, this, this ritual, which is dangerous and, you know, putting your own life in danger and all of that stuff. Um, it's, it's, uh, it's a host of other people and it's not a small community. So I was like genuinely intrigued. I wouldn't put myself in that position. What makes these guys put themselves in that position? What is different about them? What is, what are they thinking when they do that? So there were a lot of interesting things I, I, I heard. I mean, one of the most interesting things that, that I read was, and I'm, I'm so bad at names, but um, there was this mountaineer um, who sadly passed, who, who passed away while uh, um, summiting the Everest, I believe. And uh, his dead body was discovered like 75 years after, um, after he, he got lost. 75 years, so that's like three generations, you know, in between. That's insane. Um, so someone asked him when he was, uh, I think he was one of the first few who, who, who went on the summit to the Everest and he was successful. I think he went there or something like that or, and he, he couldn't make it. But someone asked him and he almost like... Um, you know, uh, almost blurted it out. And someone asked him that, hey, why do you need to do this? Why do you need to climb this mountain? And his response was, because it's there. And that was so fascinating for me. And I was like, this is this is like talking to a child almost, right? Okay, um, you know, um, babies and kids you know they will pick up anything that's in front of them and and you when if you ask them like hey why did you pick this up why did you pick up the remote why did you pick up the phone why did you pick up you know this plastic bottle lying around the house or you know dirt or you know uh, garbage they're not there's no there's no reason other than because it was there so they picked it up um so there was a, a little bit of childish innocence in that answer and I was fascinated by that. And then I read more about, obviously that was not the only answer he gave, but what then I read about this whole community and, and, and learned, okay, uh, it comes, it, 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 it is, it is, uh, it is based out of this, 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 uh, this urge to uh, discover not just the, the world that you're living in, but you, but yourself. So it's more of a it's it's more of a personal climb. I, I can understand that the first climb, first time climbers on uh, on the Everest or or any other Himalayan range or what have you, um, you know, in, the, in Europe or in Africa, um, the first time climbers you can understand. You know, you know, it's the first thing, the first time you know going to the moon, first time going to Mars, right? Um, and um, it, it makes sense for someone to put their lives in, in danger because of that and because it's 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 a huge thing for someone to achieve. But then if you're the fifteen thousandth one or you know the twenty thousandth 
person to do the same thing, what are you trying to prove? So they're definitely not going in for the fame because who who cares if you're the 20,000 person to climb the Everest, right? Nobody cares about that. Um, so what are, what are they caring about? What is, what is their big motivation? So a lot of these mountainers suggest that the biggest motivation for them is, is, uh, is really discovering how far they can push themselves as human beings, how far they can put themselves in positions which are uncomfortable for them. A lot of these people have day jobs. A lot of these people, you know, have families. Um, they have normal lives like, like you and I, but they have this, this, um, this urge to really, you know, push the envelope every now and then. And like, there, was art, there were articles about like, are mountaineers selfish people who basically do this for themselves because they are putting not just their lives in danger, but you know, people who love them, you know, their family and friends, they're also putting them in a lot of anxiety or putting them through a lot of anxiety, <clears throat> anxiety, excuse me. And uh, maybe debate, uh, like it's a debating, it's, it, you can debate either way, but, but that's not the case. It's not like that they don't care about the people around them. I think what, at, at a point in time, you know, humans, they have an individual life in themselves as well. You know, they are, um, they are known by their relationships as fathers, mothers, brothers, uh, sisters, and, you know, and, and everything like that, you know, wives, husbands, in sab ke ye roles hai, but those iske lava unka ek aur role bhi hai, which is themse- like their relationship with themselves and uh, mountaineering if you read about it is it, it, it is the most difficult and most organized um, um, I don't know you want to call it sport or activity um, that you can ever do because it's not just, you know, you backing up and having the best gear or best equipment. You need to plan your, your days. You need to plan your nights. You need to plan how much, how much climbing are you going to do throughout the day? Which route are you going to pick? Uh, what are you going to drink and eat while you're on that summit? Um, when are you coming back? How are you coming back? How are you going to communicate with the other mountaineers? And how are you going to communicate with the base? How are you going to create a base you know in the mountain when you're climbing so there's so much planning that goes and it's all so much it's all timed and it's all so precise that you know nothing can go wrong there's no room for any error so there's you know this this requires months and months of planning and you know hard work really goes behind you know uh, they, they just wake up you know and climb a mountain uh, out of um, you know uh, the goodness of their heart or their excitement, whatever, right? There's there's a lot of planning that goes behind it. And there are a lot of experienced people that they keep in their teams, you know, who can guide them, who have experienced different things like avalanches or extreme weather conditions or equipment broke or got lost or whatever, right? So they need people around them who have been in those positions who can guide them through, uh, you know, through their experience. So. It, it, it is a very difficult job and for someone to put themselves through that it's not it's not an easy thing that you can just you know um, then you can just you know throw around and say yeah they're doing it for themselves Achha, interesting thing was that I couldn't help but think okay what's the difference between mountaineering and extreme sports right? Uh, extreme sport maybe you're kind of like putting your life in danger like doing flips and all of that and you know, with a and on your bike or you know like stupid things like that which they're essentially they're just uh, activities which are kind of extreme right you know parkour or these these people who jump like from building to building like without any hanging equipment like it's just ridiculous right you've seen those videos on the internet and and you're like hey you're you kind of react the same way if someone dies uh, jumping from one mountain uh, one building to the other and slips and you know injures themselves or dies you're like hey why were you there and what's what are you trying to do with like from by jumping from one building to the other 
And that's a legitimate question that even I kind of ask myself and when I when I hear, hear about those instances. So I, I couldn't help but compare it to I was like, Zay, why are you feeling sorry for Muhammad Ali, Saad Para, and kind of like you know, apprehensive against people who felt that whatever he did was kind of extreme when um, um, you kind of feel the same way when it comes to extreme sports. So, um, and that that's where your moral dilemmas and, you know, ethical dilemmas kind of kick in where you're like, okay, is this wrong? Is this whole activity wrong? Like, what am I doing here? Okay, on the other side, uh, mountaineering, it stems from uh, human nature to be, you know, prevalent over its environment. It stems from utter curiosity. Because if cavemen didn't go out, you know, uh, looking for food or water or looking for new things, we would not have progressed. Um, you know, we would not have been in positions where we are now as a world, as a human race. So, us, uske op- opposing ye bhi ek argument like which kind of makes sense to me as well. And I was like, oh, what am I doing here? I mean, wh- which which side am I on? right because there you can't be you can't have it both ways you can't be right um you can't you, you can't have both of these parties be right so uh and then i started to wonder okay, okay let's let's uh drill it down even further let's drill it down why a person why a mountaineer uh does what they're doing and why uh, an extreme sportsman Uh, a woman does what they're what they're doing you know on a daily basis kya hai they what is their motivation so if you really drill it down mountaineering key motivation is adventure is pushing the envelope for yourself as uh, an individual um and learning where your limits are learning about the beauty of the nature around you discovering nature around you individually uh, because you know you can have people saying yaar bahut se log kar chuke hain tasveer dekh lo ja ke if you want to see what what's what is what's it like at the top of uh, mount everest just watch those videos there's a you know i'm pretty sure there are pictures and videos all over the place just me sab cheeze dekhte hain so so that doesn't mean ki agar aapne ek banda ja chuka hai usne picture khel liya that doesn't mean ki nobody can nobody should go and experience it for themselves तो वो कोई आर्ग्यूमेंट पर समझ में नहीं आता तो द रीजन वाई माउंटेनियर्स डू वट दू इज 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 टू रियली एक्सपीरियंस दैट एंड एक्सपीरियंस दैट दम सेल्व एंड ऑल्सो सी वेर देर देर लिमिट्स आर बिकॉज दे टेक दोज लर्निंग्स बिकॉज देर नॉट माउंटेन क्लाइंबिंग ट्वेंटी फोर सेवन थ्रू आउट द ईयर देर नॉट डूइंग जस्ट दैट देव अदर लाइफ देव अदर जॉब देव अदर ड्यूटीज दैट देर that they're um you know responsible for so they take a lot of that learning into their their normal lives and that really you know makes them a better person that's that's so that's their mindset um now you may say ki you don't have to just do that but that's just to rule to nahi hai na ki yaar aap ye nahi kar sakte like mountaineering is not illegal right so um so that's the reason extreme sports को के बारे में जब पढ़ा तो द ओनली वर्ड दैट काइंड ऑफ रैंग ट्रू फॉर एवरी एक्सट्रीम इज अ फ्रेज व्हिच इज व्हिच इज व्हिच इज थ्रिल सीकिंग एड्रेलन रश ये इस तरह के वर्ड्स मुझे मिले एंड देन यू नो फर्क साफ जाहिर है जैसे राइट Okay, it's it's obviously different. It's obviously um, different um, to to mountaineering uh, from from that um, from that perspective. So um, that kind of made me feel better. I was like, okay, okay. There's obviously a difference between these two. And mountaineering, on the other hand, um, is is dangerous. you know is is not a walk in the park um but you know iske piche jo reasons hai 
those reasons are so uh, noble in my opinion that you can't really stop it like right now you may say ki mountaineering is dangerous therefore people shouldn't do it and waste their lives and pick something up else ye hamari common morality is waqt agar aap bole agar ye wali morality hai of right and wrong wo is waqt ye exist karti hai 50 years 100 years down the line there might be other mindsets other people who may say you know driving shouldn't like you shouldn't get out of the house why do you need to get out of the house everything's you know on your laptop on your phone you can connect with you can meet with your family friends har cheez phone pe ho sakti why do you need to put yourself in danger of a car crash in the united states more people dry, uh, uh, die in, in a car crash than any other reason um, um, don't quote me on that but i think that's pretty much the statistics so um to to save yourself from a very untimely and very probable death you should probably stay at home to us waqt ki morality hame ye drive karegi hame ye ye suggest karegi ki aap ghar se na niklo which sounds pretty absurd right now to uh, <clears throat> where do you draw the line then right so that really gives you an indication agar ki koi bhi cheez doesn't make sense for another reason and another time then there's a good chance that that thing probably isn't shouldn't be making sense right now as well therefore people who suggest that because it's a danger to life they shouldn't do it then there's other things that are dangerous to life as well which people still do and everyone is okay with it like leaving your house going out for a learning um <clears throat> um you know meeting new people you know it could be i don't know there's so many other things that you know that could be harmful for your life and 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 are statistically proven uh, to be so as well to wo argument so like it goes on the side for me um dusra argument hai ki why don't do something else well um the same questions can be asked of you if i was a mountaineer aap mujhe dekh kar bologe ki you know why why do you need to climb the mountain what's what's in for that me as a mountaineer if i was i would say the same to you and say hey why do you need to do 95 jobs what are you doing do something else like pick a hobby just keep like make a little bit of money so that you can sustain yourself and come explore this world this is a beautiful world there are mountains there are seas there are like deserts out there just explore this beautiful world in your, the life that has been given to you you will not be understanding that 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 argument because you don't live you haven't been you living like this person living like me in this example same goes for me i don't understand what people i wouldn't understand what people like you know going 9 to 5 jobs and staying safe at their homes and having families and blah 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 and not ever you know going out for a walk let alone you know a mountaineering expedition so everyone has their own experiences everyone has their own world views to jis tarah se aapko ye make sense nahi karta mountaineers i'm pretty sure they can't really um, you know understand that um okay, why do people living in the city the safe surroundings of a, a metropolitan would would put themselves through that life when there's so much else to live for so um again that argument kind of you know subsides itself as well so at the end of it in conclusion i would say mountaineering in my opinion now that i've you know went through these this dilemma and read about it and is a noble profession uh or activity profession i don't know i don't know if it's a profession but it's a noble noble um activity it because it stems from the most beautiful human ability which is curiosity mars may be recently you know um uh ek rover pahuncha uh, from um from nasa uh it's not the first one the the one before this one which is perseverance was actually called curiosity so um it's the most uh, in my opinion the most beautiful 
um, human trait to have, which is curiosity. And being a father of a one-year-old, I can tell you, it's it is so beautiful to see child a child really be inquisitive about the most simplest of things, and that's where you learn. Okay, don't take anything for granted. Don't take the fact that you've grown up and you know things for granted. You ask yourself why about everything. Like I do, I try to do about everything that I, you know, believe in or uh, have opinions about. Um. So, suggesting that mountaineering is dangerous and shouldn't be done, I think, would really suppress. that beautiful human trait which is curiosity so purely on that account i feel like no stay away from it let these guys do what they're doing what we should do however um is is be mindful of the fact that don't put yourself in position where where um you know death is almost kind of inevitable like don't just pack your bags with you know substandard equipment and and climb k2 for example i'm not suggesting that mohammed ali did that i'm pretty sure he that, that guy was experienced that was a, that guy is a legend in the community of mountaineers so he knew what he was doing i'm pretty sure i can't teach him no way i'm not even close but the only like the caveat or what i was trying to put to do my um conclusion was okay that's the difference between you know you suggesting mountaineering being dangerous and shouldn't be done uh versus knowing that when death is inevitable that's why you step out of your house drive a car because you don't think death is inevitable that's why you do it mountaineers don't think based on their experiences they've done thousands of these climbs in their lifetime uh based on their experiences they know that death is not inevitable death is a possibility which which is the case with so many other things that you do in your life therefore mountaineering you know uh, i i thoroughly thoroughly support what we should do as well like as governments or as people who who may know people from that part of the world who are climbers and you know who, who are this uh curious people uh around us we should support them we should encourage them and if we can you know monetarily make sure that they have the best equipment to you know make these expeditions happen then let's do that because they're doing things they're giving us hope and motivations by 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 going through absolute hell um and 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 basically learning about themselves but also motivating people like myself who haven't hasn't done it who probably wouldn't do it um because just because right um different um but i you know my understanding is that it is the most beautiful thing um that a uh, human trait uh, hu- most beautiful human trait that a human being can have <clears throat> which is curiosity um on that note um subscribe to the channel subscribe to the podcast on um <clears throat> all the audio platforms that we have spotify google google podcast apple podcast audible as well podbean um and on youtube if you're watching me here uh don't forget to share your thoughts as well like the video share it uh subscribe to the channel and i'll see you back with another one thank you